first stop headlines. Manipur Congress refused BJP's interpretations on its manifesto. Manipur Kuki's top student body denounces misleading Swarajya's narrative on Maitai's in relief games. Assam SCF seizes narcotics worth rupees 2.5 crore during anti drug operation in Rangi. And the curfew relaxed in Imphalis, Imphal West, and Thobal districts till 10 pm. For Kalchung district, till 8 pm in the Super District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. Hello, welcome to Little Vs 3 pm English News. I'm your host, Nimita Hanjapam. Now, the news in detail. In continuations of attacking public opinion regarding the upcoming 18 blocks of elections 2024, the Elite TV has met the inmates sheltering at Ideal Girls College, Akambad, in Falis today. Some inmates expressed that the conflict between Maitai and Koki, that started since May 3rd last year, is still yet to be resolved. Many people have become harmless due to the prevailing conflict. More than 60,000 people were displaced and taking shelter at different relief games. The upcoming 18 locks of elections 24 is in wrong timing. The inmates do not take interest in elections. We would like to defer it in the suitable time. We want to cast our votes when we are at our homes. Despite the government announced some schemes for the inmates, we do not get a single facility so far. Hoje jo koi lejeri mafam asi ideal girls college akam pata hang ni ba relief ke masi dania koi elite bina matang sina sandokchara ba koi ke kana na lakatori ba tarani pan suba lok suba mikhala sida karam ba mire pu pam yam di ma koi singa sibu kari gunchela ni hai ba ki matang da koi ki mafam sida le relief ke asi da le ba miyo singa sida ki kari kari pam li board asi ma koi thada gadori bra thada thada ba pam li bra thada da ba pam li bra amati kari ki damakto na ma koi na pam ba na thaga pam da ba asi na mal lai raga ma koi singa sigi mo ta kari kari lai ri amati ma koi singa sina kari pam ni hai ba ki matang da เอ่อคุยเฮาจิกตีเอ่อคุยเฮาจิกบีเจปีชรกาสเนตอรีบทะบกเชคุยบีเจปีชรกาสตะเซียงไหนดีปามปามเรนไหนดีลอยบะไก
कोई बजे चेल लोग पनी ना अ दुना कोई छाव दे अ दुस्तु खागा इना खुम्बा खागा पशा पाई बा कांगु जब चपड़े ना खुम्जु खुम्बी रखते थों हांगो थे लजु का इम भाई भी रखते अ दुना अ कोई जी याम न वार न ले जी नुचा मरो सिद्ध कोई चक अयु की चक चराई है लगन ये वकोई न चल जे अ नुचराई है लगन सी तो वो � เลี้ยงบัตรนักวินาศีอิจฉาเกี่ยวกับเมลีเนี่ยบ้างวันจีเมลีจีโบอิจฉาเกี่ยวกับจีกรมีสกุลได้มีคณะกรรมนี้อิ
As a precautionary measure taken against the deadly rabies, a one-day anti-rabies vaccination program was conducted yesterday at Pagnung Imphalis. It was organized by the Pagnung Social Youth Club in association with the Joint Director of Veterinary Imphalis. Altogether, 200 numbers of dogs and cats of the area were vaccinated in the program. The localities of Pagnung and members of the Pagnung Social Youth Club lauded the Joint Director Veterinary Imphalis and his staffs for conducting such program in the area. Writer Wahingbom Nimaijan was honored by giving Bishwa Ratna Sanman 2024. The Worthy Wellness Foundation, Lucknow, conferred the prestigious award to Wahingbom Nimaijan in recognizing his effort to promote Manipuri literature. He wrote many books. He completed his Bachelor of Arts in Elective Manipuri from DM College in Fal. He also cleared Masters of Arts degree from Manipur University. He served as a government teacher a very long time. Renowned literator and Padma Shri awardee Rongbong Terang was admitted to Dispur Polyclinic in Guwahati on Monday for advanced medical treatment after being transferred from Dipu Medical College Hospital DMCH. He was earlier hospitalized at DMCH on Sunday due to a heart-related issue. His health condition is currently stable as confirmed by doctors at the polyclinic. Notable figures including AASU Chief Advisor Dr. Samujal Kumar Bhattacharya and President Utpal Sharma visited the hospital to inquire about Terang's health. Born in 1937 in Lumbung Dingpi, Karbiyang Long District, Terang began his academic journey at Kaki Lalong Village Primary School and later pursued his education at Lanka Local Board School and Lanka High School. He graduated from Guwahati University in 1962 and obtained his postgraduate degree in 1966. His literary journey started during his high school years with the publications of his article Guri Purwa in Ragini. He contributed to literature and excel in sports and cultural activities. His notable works include Rang Mili's Hahi, which received the Assam Prakashan Parishad Award and the Vishnu Prashad Rabha Award. He also translated Mahatma Gandhi into Karbi and published various works in the Karbi language. The music world mourns the loss of C.J. Snare, the founding singer of the iconic hair metal band Firehouse, who passed away at the age of 64. The band, known for hits like Love of a Lifetime and When I Look Into Your Eyes in the early 90s, announced Snare's death via social media on Sunday. In a heartfelt post, the surviving members of Firehouse expressed their grief, describing Snare as a rock and roll warrior and highlighting his role as a lead vocalist and one of the band's founding members. The announcements revealed that Snare passed away unexpectedly at home on Friday night, April 5, 2024, leaving behind a legacy of impactful music. While no specific cause of death was provided in the announcement, it's noted that Snare's passing comes six months after his, he disclosed planes for abdominal surgery. Initially, the band postponed the scheduled gigs to allow Snare time to recover. However, due to his repercussion period, Firehouse enlisted a fallen singer to ensure the continuity of their performances. C.J. Snare's contributions to Firehouse and the wider rock music scene will be remembered fondly by fans and peers alike. His distinctive voice and stage presence helped Snare the band's identity and left an undeniable mark on the genre. And now let's take a short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Shri Thaunauzam Basanta Kumar Singh, Nambol Kendra Utlaudagi, Hana Deputy CM Uramba, Padma Shri Awardi, DH Chaubagi Machani Pani. Mani Populous Department IPS Oina Integrity Laina Thaupuram Labamatung, Kumzala Singh Aniga Taraka Tarukta, Chahi Nipanu Watlingaita, Voluntarily Retirement Lauduna, BJP the Yauduna, Politics Kilam da Kong Tanzilaki. BJP Gi Achangba member Ama Uram Batanatana Tam Anirag Vice President Uram Ki. English Singh Aniga Kunga Nithwegi. Assembly Mikalda Nambol Assembly Constituency da BJP candidate Oina Mai Paklatuna. 
कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन लो एंड लेजिस्लेटिव अफेयर्स की फर्म पूरी बा श्री थाउजन बसंत कुमार सिंह लाख अप्रैल की तांग तरह का मापन दंथो कदौरी बा लोकसभा निखलदा इनर मणिपुर पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी दा बीजेपी की मीरे पोईना इलेक्शन थेंगने ज कदौरी महात्मा एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर म ओईना डिपार्टमेंट असिबु चौखत नब फनवत नतना गवर्नमेंट स्कूल दगी टॉपर पुथो पंगम ले अमदी कांगलुप की इरांग असिदा मराई बक्थिरबा महिरोई लिसिंग तराग मंगा हेना लेमना मिंग संखिबा पुमनमक निंग सिंग बिदुना आइखोई गी मणिपुर गी सक्तम तननब गी दमक पॉलिटिकल बैकग्राउंड लेरबा अमसुं एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन खंगलब मिरेप असिबु पार्लियामेंट ता मियाम गी पाखोलोई ओहेन बिदुना तंगदू लेताबा शांति लेबा मदी चौखतपा इरमदम मणिपुर अमा ओइरतनबा डेडिकेटेड कैंसर हॉस्पिटल ए ओ आई बाबीना स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल मेडिकल ऑनकोलॉजी सर्जिकल ऑनकोलॉजी एडवांस ऑपरेशन थिएटर गलोना कैंसर पेशेंट सिंग अफोर्डेबल कोस्ट मपू फाब केयर पीजरी साइड इफेक्ट हंथा मनपुर की अहब लिनेक हेल्स यून रेडिएशन मशीन की खुद फंगी कैंसर खादोनाटेज लेपद सिजन पेट सी टी स्कैन मशीन सो हॉस्पिटल ट्यूमर बोर्ड फमदना पेशेंट सिंग लाइन पथाप्त अहें खुद लोना हेल्थ कार्ड की खुद पीजरी मैम की बाबीना स्पेशल Hospital, Khabisoy, Imphal East. Welcome you all to Yunapa School Channel, Imphal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic season for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up! Forestration. Welcome back again. You're watching Little Ways 3 PM English News. The second round of training for the polling personnel of the jury bomb, which commands from 7th April 2024, in four batches at the training hall and conference hall of Deputy Commissioner Office, jury bomb, in connections with the ensuing 18 general elections to Lok Sabha 2024, concluded today. Altogether, two 34 polling personnel, including 63 women, were imparted training by the master trainers of District Election Office, jury bomb. Under the supervision of District Election Officer Jiribam Krishna Kumar IAS, during the training session, DO Jiribam Krishna Kumar IAS inspected the training of polling personnel and interacted with the trainees and urged the trainees to soak the training contents and thereby clearing the doubts during the training sessions. He also thanked the officials and the trainees for their cooperation and commitment shown to the District Election Office, and wishes everyone to conduct the ensuing 18 Lok Sabha elections 2024 safe and successfully. The polling personnel were also trained about the functioning of EVM and about the statutory and non-statutory documents, ballot unit, control unit, and VBPAT, and along with tools, and also conducted as per ECI guidelines. The program was also attended by ARO Jiribam, TH Manoranjan Singh, MCS Nodal Officer for the Welfare of Polling and JDO Jiribam, TH Amurasi Chanu, MES Nodal Officer Training, TH Somarendra Singh and Assistant Nodal Officer Training, Y Sanathoi Singh. Um, in past election electoral history and uh, experiences which have been told by my staffs, There have been very peaceful conduct of the election. There was no any single incident occurred. This time also we are uh, 
assuming and expecting for the same In a decisive blow to drug trafficking operations in a region, the Special Task Force SDF executed a successful emission in Rangia overnight, culminating in a seizure of deadly narcotics worth at staggering rupees 2.5 crore. Led by additional superintendent of police Kalyan Kumar Pathak and SDF conducted a targeted operation resulting in the confiscation of approximately 10,000 Yaba tablets, a potent and highly addictive substance. The raid, conducted under the cover of darkness, revealed the insidious presence of illicit drugs within the community. The seized tablets, concealed within the dashboard of a Maruti Alto vehicle bearing West Bengal registration number WBD-7907, originated from Manipur, indicating the expansive reach of the drug trade. Investigations led to the apprehensions of two individuals from Bihar, identified as Rasidul Mia and Nayan Mia, who were found in the possessions of the contraband. These individuals had reportedly procured the Yawa tablets from Imran Hussain, a resident of Rangia. Further scrutiny uncovered the intricate network facilitating the transportation of narcotics from Rangia to Behar. The arrested individuals had ingeniously concealed the illicit substances within the dashboard of the vehicles, evading detections during transit. Currently, three individuals remain in custody as a result of the SCF operation. Rasidil Mia, Nayan Mia of Bihar and Imran Hussain of Rangia. The apprehension marks a significant milestone in the ongoing battle against drug trafficking in the region. Residents of Jamrudisa village in the Umrangcho area find themselves caught in the terrors of government neglect following a year of devastation caused by natural disasters. As discussions surrounding the upcoming locks of elections echo throughout the region, the plight of those in Jamrudisa remains largely overlooked. Last year, the village nestles in the Dima Hassau district bore the burnt of heavy smoke and hailstorms, leaving 23 families grappling with the aftermath. Typically reliant on agriculture and poultry farming to sustain their livelihoods, the villagers faced significant setbacks as their homes and livelihoods were ravaged by the unforgiving forces of nature. In the wake of the calamity, it was expected that aid and compensations would be swiftly provided by the government and disaster management department. However, a year has passed and the promised relief remains elusive for many. Allegations for irregularities in compensation distributions have surfaced, exhibiting the distress of the affected families, while some families claim to have received a meager sum of Rs. 4,000. Others assert that a select few have been granted Rs. 1,30,000. This glaring disparity has intensified the grievances of those left without adequate support. With their homes lying in ruins and their means of income compromised, these families are mired in the state of uncertainty and desperation. In a series of targeted operations of some rifles has met significant strides in countering insurgent activities in northeast India. Acting on precise intelligence inputs, the paramilitary force executed two separate operations, resulting in the apprehension of NSCN, National Socialist Council of Nagaland, cadres in Nagaland in Arunachal Pradesh. The first operation, conducted in vicinity of the project colony, Johe Boto, saw Assam Rifles' unique springs into actions on April 6, 2024. Intelligence and had pinpointed the presence of a cadre affiliated with the NSC and Niki Sumi engaging in extortion activities in the area. Swift and coordinated efforts led to the successful apprehension of the individual. Alongside the cadre, authorities recovered a country made 32 mm pistol, underscoring the gravity of the threat pose. The apprehended cadre, along with the seized weaponry, has been handed over to the local police authorities in Johe Boto for further investigations and legal proceedings. Simultaneously, in a separate operations took place in the Kharsang area of Jalang district, Assam Rifles units moved decisively to intercept a cadre associated with NSCN KYA. Acting on timely intelligence, the operations culminated in the successful apprehensions of the cadre, who was found in possession of a 32 pistol along with ammunition.
alleging that BJP Manipur Pradesh has wrongly interpreted Congress manifesto. Ne Patra, Congress candidate for Inner Manipur Parliamentary seat, Professor Dr. Angom Chabi Molakoyam, explained the stand of Congress Party with respect to Manipur issues. Addressing media in a press conference held at the Congress Bhavan today, Professor Angom Chabi Molakoyam, a candidate backed by India Bloc, stated that criticism and argument is a part of politics, but level of criticism should be maintained so that the state could have virtuous political culture. However, criticism met by BJP against Congress party has crossed its limit that has provoked him to make clarifications. Angom to highlighting the statement made by BJP and Congress manifesto with respect to Manipur issue, he urged BJP to stop misinterpreting the manifesto. The pledge on Manipur issue was taken after studying the reality of Manipur thoroughly. Above this, the party also studied the issue in comparison with similar crises happening in other parts of the world. In the manifesto, party had vowed to form reconciliation commissions. It also mentioned about administrative settlements which are satisfactory to all people of Manipur. The party had took this pledge with far-sighted visions and a mechanism to bring sustainable solutions of Manipur's issue. But unfortunately, BJP had wrongly interpreted by just using selective words from manifesto like administrative settlements and omitting satisfactory lead of to all people of Manipur. He stated while charging with such interpretations is an act of maligning the Congress party. Bimol narrated how black and white people in South Africa unite together during post-apartheid period by adopting Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Taking this reference, Congress party decided to form Reconciliation Commission with a vision to end a divisive policy adopted in Manipur where many ethnic communities exist by government. The Koki Students Organization General Headquarters, KSO GHQ, has unleashed a barrage of criticism against a recent article published by Swarajya, characterizing it as a graph distortions of facts concerning the plight of Maitais in Manipur. The KSO GHQ has accused Swarajya of propagating a biased narrative, contending that the contents of the article not only mislead but also sow discord among communities. Dismissing allegations of systematic dis disenfranchisement of the Maitais by Cookie organizations, the top student body of the Cookie community refuted claims of obstructing democratic rights, citing a lack of evidence to substantiate such accusations. Furthermore, the KSO GHQ contested the portrayal of Maitais enduring dire conditions in relief games due to alleged persecutions by Cookies, denouncing it as a fabrication aimed at maliciously tarnishing the image of the Cookie community. Calling for journalistic integrity to prevail, the KSO GHQ implored media outlets to uphold the principles of responsible reporting. They urged Swarajya and others to retract the article and issue a public apology for perpetuating falsehoods. And now let's take a short break again. Stay tuned for more updates. Diabetes Colony the Hindi was saying Tamagi Manunda control to Bangamle. Uria, Kratina and Wangasu, Tamagi Manunda, Hantabangamle. Kong Hamanungai Tabasu, Numit Manganigi Manunda, Fahan Bangamle. Pile Cyberdi, Nung Sang Nabasu, Chama de Chama, Fahan Bangamle. Cholesterol Wangba, Numit Kunida, Normal Oibangamle. BP Wangasu, Tamagi Manunda, Normal Oibangamle. Fatty Liver Oibasu, Tamagi Manunda, Fagat Hanbangamle. Pumnamak, Natural Oibahida Makalna. Lying Javani, Hakjang the Soka the Bat side effect, Amatalite, Makata and Hidak Java Gimato Sutaroi, Hena Kupa Parogi the Mak, Nasimak Langsin Biru, Diabetes Hospital, Sodom Lakei, a young Pali Road opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital, Porompat, in Fall East, near Punjab National Bank. Planning to study outside Manipur? Are you confused about your college or university selection? After 12, Manipur Edu Online provide assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuridu.online or you can also call us at 7628960947.
sets the pinnacles of success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNECO School, Excellence in Education. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. BJP Manipur Pradesh ki maike dagi noluk na Manipur ki miyamda thamjari ba wapam sing asi khanabina ba hangachari. Manipur ki yalhau mi kanna na ba BJP na apun ba Indo-Manmar border fencing khaba hau krek. Manipur ki yalhau mi kanna na ba BJP na inner line permit ILP chanahan ke. India amadi Myanmar ki marakta athing ba laitana mi chang ba ya halamba free movement regime FMR BJP na lo thokre. BJP na Manipur da biometric data khongat pa hokre amasung NRC chanahan na ba khongthang lo khat pa hokre. Manipur da ki mitop khandok pa BJP na hokre amasung wa on drugs asi BJP lenga ki makada mai pak na chang shilakri. Andaman and Nicobar Island da Mount Manipur amade Navy ship amabo INS Impal Haina BJP na mingthol pikre. Maramashina serial number 2 BJP ki mirep oina puthok chari ba Sri Thaunauzam Basant Kumar Singh ki thambal yekpa markada iraicha singh ki mamal yamla ba daita sina biduna tangdu laita ba mangjil thaba lamdam amapurak na ba khona minarasi. Welcome back again. You're watching Ultavest 3 p.m. English News. The some rifles intercepted many five trucks, five mini trucks in South Mizoram Saihat district, leading to the apprehension of four individuals, including two Myanmarese nationals, and a seizure of a substantial amount of uncounted cash. According to the Assam Rifles, acting upon received intelligence, personnel intercepted the convoy of five mini trucks carrying a total of 16 passengers at Zhuangling village on Friday. Following a search operation, the authorities discovered a staggering sum of memory scared 7 crore 47 lakh 74, 7 crore 74 lakh 74,500, along with Indian currency notes amounting to rupees 1 lakh concealed within the vehicles. The intercepted individuals, four in total, were promptly apprehended by the Sam Rifles for possessions of the unexplained cash. Subsequently, both the currency holds and the suspects were handed over to the state police in Tuipang for further legal proceedings as confirmed by the statement from Assam Rifles. Tripura's Chief Minister Manik Saha recently announced a rupees 100 crore package sanctioned by the central government for the surrendered militants of the Nationalist Liberation Front of Tripura and Alafti. The NLFT, a band group, was reportedly operating from hideouts in Bangladesh, hilly regions. The package is part of the Special Economic Development Package for Tripura's indigenous people and is intended for NLFT activists who have renounced violence to integrate the mainstream life. Saha made the announcement at a public meeting in Garbodi, West Tripura district, where he was campaigning for Lok Sabha candidate, Biplab Kumar Dave. The Chief Minister also praised Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his problem-solving abilities, greeting him with signing 12 accords amid establishing peace in the North East since 2014. The recent agreement with the Tipra Mota Party, a new member of the ruling coalitions and the resolutions of the BRU issue, were cited as examples of the government's commitment to restoring order. In a significant joint operation, Assam Rifles, in collaboration with the Customs Department, executed a successful raid on the 7th of April 2024 in the general area of Purba Sil, Tripura. Acting upon credible information, the operation targeted a warehouse and adjacent forest areas suspected of illegal activities. During the meticulously planned operations, law enforcement officials uncovered a substantial stash of contraband. A total of 188 kilograms of marijuana with the estimated street value of approximately Rs. 84,000 
84.60 lakh were seized from the premises. The hidden cache of marijuana tragically concealed within the warehouse and nearby forest was unearthed as a result of the coordinated efforts of the Assam Rifles and Customs Department personnel. Following the seizure, the confiscated contraband was promptly handed over to the Customs Department for further investigations and necessary legal proceedings. Tripura CPIM State Committee Secretary Jitendra Chaudhary has written a letter to the Chief Electoral Officer CEO Punit Agrawal demanding immediately stop of parochial use of government schemes for political interests by the ruling BJP and to take appropriate action against BAC Chairperson of Harish Yamuk RD Block and the South District. In the letter, Chaudhary, who is also leader of the opposition, said that the scenes fought April 2024, Bakul Devi Devnath, BAC chairperson of Hirshya Mok RD Block, along with local BJP leaders, have been distributing mosquito donates among the beneficiaries in various GPs. 37 Hirshya Mok AC of 2 Tripura is STPC in presence of various block officials and the physicians attached with Hirshya Mok Primary Health Care. He alleged that Devnath and the BJP leaders, while distributing these mosquito nets, are openly cavassing for the BJP among the beneficiaries. This is blatant violations of the model code of conduct. The fact is that about 11,000 mosquito nets were procured by the block authority one and a half months ago to prevent spread of malaria in the block areas. Had the ruling BJP been respectful about the electoral norms and morality, this could have been distributed even prior to the declarations of local survival elections. On the other hand, if all urgency to distribute this at the moment for the fairness of the electoral norms, this could have been done solely by the block and health department authorities, devoid of any political personalities, he said. A woman from East Minnapur district, West Bengal, has lodged an FIR against the National Investigation Agency, NIA team, and Central Reserve Police Force CRPF officials. The woman claims to have been physically assaulted by the officials along with her husband. She has also accused officials of outraging her modesty. The case has registered at Bhupati Nagar police stations and the various sections. Previously, the NIA team was attacked by a mob in Bhupati Nagar while investigating investigating a blash case related to a Trinamul Congress leader. Stones were plattered at the vehicles and a fire has been registered against Manabendra Jana, an unknown individual, based on the NIA's complaint. Bhopadinagar Police Station has also registered a case under different sections of the Indian Panel Court and PDPP Act against Monobroto Jana, his family members and unknown individuals. Monobroto Jana has been arrested amidst the stone pelting incident. Upon improvement in the law and order situation, the valley districts curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West, and Thobal districts. In Kokchin district, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Vishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Shops and markets remain open. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LTV News Channel, contact to the email address info at ltv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to LTV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. And now let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur Congress refused BJP's interpretations on its manifesto. Manipur Cookie's top student body denounces misleading Swarajya's narrative on Maitai's in relief games. Assam STF seizes narcotics worth rupees 2.5 crore during anti drug operation in Rangi. And curfew relaxed in Imphal East, Imphal West, and Thobal districts till 10 pm. For Kakhtun district, till 8 pm in Vishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today.
That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching the TV6 PM English News. Thank you and have a great day.